Hi, I'm Lucy and I have a dog aid accredited assistance dog called Molly. Molly is a three year old working cocker spaniel and she's been training with dog aid since she was 10 months old. We had a couple of breaks in her training when I was poorly but she finally qualified as my assistance dog on the 6th of September 2016. We're really looking forward to exploring the world together and have Molly by my side all the time. Molly does assistance tasks including undressing me such as taking off my hat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. My scarf. Oh. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good yeah. My gloves. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Good. My coat, my jacket. My top. My trousers and socks. Pull sock. Good girl. Pull. Pull, pull, pull. Good girl. Thank you. She also fetches the post, loads and unloads the washing machine, closes doors. Push. Yeah. Passes notes between my mum and I and fetches help. Molly also picks up dropped items for me and fetches named items. Yeah, Molly loves her job, it's her life and she loves to help me. And I don't feel like a burden for asking her to do things because it's a game to her. She loves helping me, she doesn't mind if I drop things a million times a day because she thinks it's great that she's helping me, that it's all a fun game really. Whereas when I ask my human nurses and carers to do something, I'm always apologising for the fact that I've dropped something or apologising because I need something. But Molly, she loves it, it's a game to her, so I don't mind asking. In fact, I think she's most upset if I don't ask or if someone does something that she can do for me already. Molly is just the light of my life. She's my best friend, she's my loyal companion, she's my faithful friend. You know, and she's really been the reason I've kept going. In the darkest, darkest hours, when I've been really poorly, when I've been in hospital, she's been the guiding light that's kept me going. She's kept me focused on, you know, one day I'll get back to Molly, one day I'll get back to Molly, and that's how I keep going. I, my life is lived day to day by when am I walking Molly, when am I training Molly, what are we doing today, and it's, she is my world. As well as my charity work, she is my world, and I wouldn't be without her. Molly also got me through the toughest year of my life. In April 2015, my mum, my sole carer, was diagnosed with a brain tumour. It was benign, but it was big and badly placed, and unfortunately she would go on to suffer a stroke after the operation. She had to learn everything from scratch and spent six weeks in hospital, and life will never ever be the same. Molly was the only thing that kept me going. She was just there for me, she kept me focused, she kept me positive, and if it weren't for her, I think I'd have crumbled, because I so nearly did. But I got back into her training after a year off because I was poorly and obviously mum's disaster. I started walking and training her again and that was my focus. You know, I'd come home from the hospital after seeing my mum and I'd take her out for a walk and I'd do a training session and that got me through day to day. I, we passed our level one very soon after and then, you know, she progressed very rapidly. She did really, really well. And the disaster would strike again when I got poorly in February this year and literally could do nothing until July. I was so poorly. I couldn't even use my phone for three months. It was that bad. But all that time I spent with my eye mask on and headphones in, all I was thinking about was what I was going to do with Molly when I got better. And then in July I started walking and training her again. In August we passed our level two, and then as I said on the 6th of September she passed her level three and gained full assistance dog status. I cannot wait to start exploring the world with Molly by my side. And that's the thing about it, she's by my side all the time now and she gives me confidence. If it weren't for Molly I'd never have started my charity work, let alone got an MBE at the age of 22. I'd like to say thank you to everyone at Dog Aid, including the staff, the trainers and the other clients for supporting me for the toughest year of my life and allowing Molly and I to flourish. We are now an accredited partnership, which means Molly can come everywhere with me and assist me in my day to day life. Without Dog Aid, this never would have happened. Please support Dog Aid. Please support them to help people like they've helped Molly and I and enrich other people's lives. I'll put the link in the description below of how you can make a donation to Dog Aid and support other clients 
like Molly and I, from pet dog to assistance dog status. Thank you.